sometimes I feel like this is the only place I can be alone. So, wait, gotta pull over or that dinging will never stop. So, while we're talking about it, this is a non-scale victory. Since I've had this car for about five years now, I've always had to put my seatbelt behind me and buckled in because you can hear the dinging, ding, ding, ding. And the reason why I had to do that is so that the car wouldn't ding like that, but I couldn't fit in a seatbelt. I couldn't wear a seatbelt. So I can wear a seatbelt now with lots of room. <laughs> so it's a non-scale victory. So I purposely now make myself wear my seatbelt and the dinging in the car reminds me. So I've come that far from pulling the seatbelt behind me and buckling it so the car wouldn't dung and then I tucked the seatbelt down into the seat crack so that I wouldn't have to hear that dinging. So that's a plus. I now can wear a seatbelt comfortably in my car with room to spare. <laughs> so that should be an encouraging word for you guys that you guys can do anything you set your mind to. Small steps make big goals come true. But that's not the reason why I jumped on here. That was just a fly by my seat kind of thing. The reason why I jumped on here is because today's video is going to be about the dreaded, I don't know what to call it. Like, can we say period on YouTube? <laughs> We're just gonna say it, your period. Okay, so I know my channel here has only got a couple videos and it's new. I know some of my longtime subscribers have come over to Missy Lynn and have subscribed, but I do realize that there are some people on here that are just brand new to the channel and they're just here because they simply want a good weight loss channel, which is fantastic. That's exactly what this channel is all about. So Oh my goodness, someone opened a new can of cars. So, what I want to talk to you about is the dreaded period. What my new subs, which I'm so happy that you're here, may not know, is that for about eight to nine months, I first time in my life ever, I dealt with a really bad bout of anxiety. Never had it before. I've never had depression. I've always been an upbeat, happy person. I'm a believer, as you guys may know. I'm, I believe in Jesus Christ. I've always had hope. And so this kind of took me out of the blue. And I went to the doctors, many tests. Um, I had physical anxiety, you know, chest pains. I thought I was having heart attacks. I went to the emergency room twice thinking I was having a heart attack stomach problems, daily anxiety that would lead to panic attacks, the whole thing. Um, went to my gynecologist and my hair also started falling out really bad. That's why I'm usually always in a ball cap. Um, now I do have thyroid. I have an underactive thyroid, which can cause hair thinning, but I mean like my hair was like falling, falling out. Like it made me feel like I was sick, like maybe I had cancer. I didn't know, like something was not right. My hair was really falling out. This anxiety stuff kind of came out of the blue, like it's never experienced anything like this in my life. So they put me on thyroid meds thinking I had an imbalance and was like, eh, the thyroid meds will at le level you out. Well, I was on thyroid meds for three months, went back for another blood test, completely leveled out, still my anxiety was the worst it was ever. So, my doctor suggested maybe you need to go to the gyno and blah, 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 blah. Well, from there, found out that I had PCOS and PMDD, which is premenstrual um, dysphoric disorder. And I wanna go into all the details of what that's, if you can look it up, Google it. <laughs> but anxiety is the number one symptom of both of those things, PCOS and this PMDD. So it was starting to make sense and a big thing with PCOS and the PMDD is hair loss and my hair loss is ridiculous. So my periods are pretty, they were pretty bad before I was put on medicine. Um, the, they say that the best thing to treat PMDD was um, Prozac. So I was put on Prozac and it does seem to help my time of the month with the anxiety portion of it. 
Now, the extreme fatigue, PCOS causes cramps really bad. Um, I get huge clots because I have um, cysts on my ovaries and things of that nature. And all of this to be said that that could make losing weight very difficult and very difficult to be maintain and stay on track when your monthly visitor shows up and kind of throws you off balance. And I understand that better probably than anybody you know. <laughs> um, it causes cravings, it causes bloat, um, you just don't feel good. Um, I believe, not to be, you know, gross, but we're just being honest here, like super heavy. Um, it, the whole thing is just blah. So I videotaped myself, which I'm gonna throw in here of me on the day I was on my period. Okay. Hi guys. So I just have a encouraging word for you. So not to give you too much personal information, but Shark Week is here, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and those are come. I have a headache. And I feel like crap. I have to be completely honest. I have a headache and I do not feel good. And I really, really, really had to argue with myself today about doing what I know is best for me despite how I feel. So I'm here. Me and the dog are walking. I don't know if I'm going to do three miles today because I have cramps. <laughs> but I'm going to do my very best. So I just want to encourage you that even when you don't feel good, when you don't feel like you want to do it, even when your body is physically screaming at you, do what you know is best. And I know for me to keep my mental health healthy and to keep myself feeling good about myself because that has a lot to do with mental health, walking is the best thing for me. So even when you don't feel like it, do it. Okay, I'm home. So I didn't do my regular three miles. I only did a mile today, that's what my Fitbit says. But I walked. The most important thing was that I walked. Because one thing with anxiety and just people who deal with, you know, overthinking, I'm an overthinker, even though I can make excuses in my mind and go, well, I got my period, that's what all of this is about. PCOS and PMDD. That's one of the main reasons I having that I had symptoms of anxiety was the PMD, which is premenstrual dysphoric disorder. So when I get my period, my face breaks out. I just don't feel good. But I will take all of that over anxiety any day. But I know that as an overthinker and somebody who has symptoms of those, that if I didn't at least walk a mile or get a walk in, that later today I will start to beat myself up and that'll interrupt my sleep, that'll cause negative thoughts, negative thinking, and beating myself up always lead to bad thoughts and then the thoughts trigger anxiety. So for me, I know that the best thing, even though my body's telling me and my thoughts are telling me, oh, you got your period, you don't feel good, you got cramps, your head hurts, it's okay just to relax, blah, blah, blah. Well, it is okay, and it is. And if I was really, really bad, I probably wouldn't have walked. But it wasn't to the point where I can't physically do something, despite how I look or how I feel. And I know later today, when I'm getting ready to wind down and go to sleep and that I won't have all those negative thoughts of, well, you blew today, you wasted the whole day. All of those overthinking things that lead to negative thoughts and my negative thoughts always leave, like they trigger anxiety. So whether it's taking a walk around your block, whether it's putting on Leslie Sansung and doing her in your living room, whether it's just marching in place, whether it's just doing some arm exercise, whether it's, it's um, taking a shower, and putting fresh clothes on or making yourself something nutritious to eat or 
making yourself a pot of soup, whatever it is that would mentally help you feel better by the end of the day to make those negative thoughts, that negative talk turn off, do it for yourself. You are worth it. For me, it's physical activity, walking, moving. It, it, it shuts those negative things off. I am worth it. And so are you. So even from that um, is encouraging. Like, I didn't walk my three miles, but I walked. And then the cravings and things come in. So in this video, I am going to stick in one of my very simple um, recipes that can help curve that, like you need chocolate and sweets cravings. Um, some people have a really hard time with chocolates and wanting sweets and stuff like that when they're on their period. Mine, I sometimes have that, but more than not, mine is salty. Like, I want chips. <laughs> I don't quite have a recipe to uh, curb that quite yet, but I do have a fantastic low-carb recipe that is fall. It has pumpkin in it and some chocolate in it and it's fantastic it's my pumpkin chocolate chip muffins and low carb no flour they're fantastic they're so yummy they're really good and they will definitely curb that the need for like that chocolate the recipe for these low carb delicious chocolate chip pumpkin muffins will be down in the description. These are so good, they will help with any craving and they are completely low fat, low carb, and really good for you because they got pumpkin and they will help with any period craving, I promise. can't allow a couple days of not feeling good to derail what I put weeks and weeks into and I feel like that's so important because that's what happens your monthly visitor will show up you may not exercise you may not walk you may give in to a candy bar craving and then you get so down and disappointed on yourself you just throw your arms up in the air and you give up because this happens every single month and then you're just like to this point where like why why even keep trying? Because every month this happens to me. I, I undo weeks and weeks and weeks of being faithful, of walking and eating correct and eating low carb and eating the uh, calorie deficient. And then my monthly visitor shows up and everything goes out the window. So why just keep even trying? I've been there many a times. Many a times. <laughs> it's horrible. And then you beat yourself up for weeks and weeks and then you get so disgusted with yourself because then you've gained 25, 30 pounds back and then you're like, I gotta start all over again. It's a vicious, vicious cycle. Nobody knows it better than me. So I'm just trying to give you some tips and hints to prepare yourself. If you can mentally prepare yourself for when the time of the month shows up, you know it's coming and you already mentally prepared yourself like okay we're gonna walk but if you got really bad cramps we're not gonna walk our three miles today but we are gonna walk 
and okay, you got some cravings. So let's prepare and mark on your calendar about when you think your monthly visitor should show up and have your, you know, like the pumpkin chocolate muffins pre-made. Um, have some things already pre-made in the fridge because I know there's nothing worse than when you just don't feel good and you're trying to eat healthy and you gotta go out and make it. And then that's when you're like, I don't feel like doing any of this. I just wanna lay in bed, put Netflix on and order a pizza. Well, if you wanna lay in bed and put Netflix on, that's great, but you don't have to derail your eating plan because if you knew your monthly visitor was coming and you pre-planned and you have pre-planned yummies in your fridge and you got some meals lined up for yourself, you, all you gotta do is pop them in the microwave or however, you know, your, your air fryer or whatever to warm them up and that'll keep you from ordering that pizza. But I also wanna let you know that if there's nothing wrong with ordering a pizza once in a while, don't reward yourself with food because then you're gonna start a whole other cycle. <laughs> reward yourself with new earrings, a new outfit, a new ball cap, new shoes, something that makes you feel good. Do not reward yourself with food. But there's nothing wrong with, okay, I know I'm going on a date night with my husband and my husband loves this Arctic, uh, spinach artichoke dip that comes with chips. I love it too because it's chips. <laughs> so instead of like, oh my God, I can't have this. No, I know we're going to have this. So for that day to stay in my calorie deficient, I'm going to allow myself to have that spinach artichoke dip, dip with my husband. We're going to share it. So I'm not going to eat a whole one myself. And for breakfast and for dinner that day, I'm going to eat very low cal so that I can put the extra calories there and I still remain in my low calorie deficient lifestyle and enjoyed something very yummy and delicious, a nice little treat with my husband and I didn't feel like I had to sit here and watch him enjoy himself eating all of this and I'm like drooling and going home feeling unsatisfied and like I missed out. So you just need to have a better mindset about things and pre-plan ahead. Pre-plan ahead. So I think we're like 12 minutes in. I know it's a lot of talking, but I just wanted to share some, th some of these tips because I know for myself I can get derailed big time and then beat myself up for days when it comes to the time of the month. And it has messed me up in my plan so many times and has made me so upset so many times and it it's just it's so not worth it guys it's just so not worth it weeks and weeks of awesome training weeks and weeks and weeks of doing the right thing and then a few days of this monthly thing and everything goes down the tubes so when you know it's coming my tips are pre-plan have stuff prepared and if you need to enjoy a little something don't reward yourself with food because I'm telling you I've done this I started a horrible cycle it was awful <laughs> but there's nothing wrong with okay we're gonna go out and my husband wants to get a pizza and beer well number one don't drink your calories so you don't get a beer but you can have two slices of pizza with your 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 partner whatever your friend your husband boyfriend whatever and just know your, in your mind, okay, tonight we're gonna go have pizza, so this morning I'm going to eat a certain amount of calories, and if it's dinner, then for lunch, I may skip lunch, or I might have an apple with peanut butter, or something very light, because I know I'm gonna have a certain something for dinner that's gonna take a big chunk of my calories. Just stay in calorie deficient. There's, you can still enjoy pizza, you can still enjoy treats you can still enjoy things like that it just can't be a regular thing you know before I started losing weight you know we would order pizza two to three four times a week well I cook all the time now so when we have pizza it is a treat we have it like once a week or once every two weeks and it's a treat and if I do eat it with my husband I plan on eating lower calories for whatever meals the rest of that day so that I can indulge and enjoy with my husband and I don't feel like I'm missing out and I'm being deprived. It, you just got to be really smart about these things. So, all right, I think I've talked for like 15 minutes. It seems like I've only been talking for like one or two minutes and it's like 15 minutes and it's like, wow, that went really fast. <laughs> I hope this helped you guys because I know this can be a really 
This can be a really big ordeal. It really can. I personally have been derailed by my period and I don't think I'm alone in it and it's not something that a lot of people talk about because it is, you know, it's kind of a yucky subject. But if you're really serious about taking your life back and making a life change, not a diet, a life change, then this really does need to be addressed. So I'm on my way to go walk. I thought I'd pull over to finish here. I got dozer in the back, you probably hear him. <laughs> We're gonna go for our walk today. And I'm also going to show you, um, and I'm going to be either in this video or maybe another video, I'm also gonna show you what you can do when you wanna go out to eat. You can still be in calorie deficient and in a different kind of lifestyle, retaking your health back and still be able to go out and eat and enjoy yourself. So that video is coming as well. Actually, lots of them. I have a whole bunch planned. So if you're serious about this, this is a great channel for you.